In today's tutorial, I want to teach you about a business tool that I don't think a lot of people know exists. So I kind of feel like I'm putting you guys up on game today. Hey boss friends, welcome to another tutorial. If you guys are new here, my name is Tisha and I'm here to teach new and inspiring entrepreneurs just like you on how to use online business tools to help you create your own business and become your own boss. So if that sounds like you, make sure that you hit subscribe so you become part of the boss tribe. Now, what is this business tool that I'm talking about? I'm talking about Facebook Business Suite. So if you've never heard of it, it is a social media management tool to manage your social media for your Facebook business page and your Instagram business page. Facebook introduced their business suite platform back in September of 2020. Facebook Business Suite allows you to create and schedule your posts and your stories, reply to comments and messages. It also allows you to view your insights and create ads all under one tool. And the best part about it is that it is absolutely free to use, whereas other third-party social media platforms charges a fee. So now that I've told you what it is, now let me show you how to use it. To get started with Facebook Business Suite, you first need to create a business manager account. You will need to go to business.facebook.com and create an account if you already do not have an account. Once you create an account, it will ask you to verify your email. So you will receive an email and you have to go through that verification process then the following step will be to then create your Facebook business suite. And the last step will be to connect your Facebook business page and your Instagram business page. Now, since I've already done that, what I'm going to do now is just show you how you can directly access the Facebook business suite. Once you've already gone through the setup and verification process. So you will need to go to your Facebook business page to access the business suite, you would need to either go to the left hand side and click the Facebook business suite button or over here on the right hand side where it says manage your page and Instagram account together with business suite. Then you can click on go to business suite button. So that brings us to the Facebook business suite home page. Now we have some options over here on the left hand side in the column here. And then we also have some options over here on the home screen. Now, a lot of these options are duplicate. You can either access it from the column or from the home page. So I will kind of show you how you can access it from either or. Now, let me show you each section of the home page. This first section here is where you can create and schedule your posts to either your Facebook business page or your Instagram business page. Over here to the right, where it says your goals, you can actually set up goals and you will see the information of your goals here in this section. I have not done that yet or played around with that, but it looks pretty interesting. The next section here is your to-do list. So anything that you have that's unread, like any comments or messages, you will see that here. In this section, Facebook always will probably promote something else to you that will that could help you with your business. Right now, it is showing other business apps that you can connect to your Facebook page. You go down a little bit more. The next section is recent posts. So it will show you your recent posts. Right now, I have all of my recent posts are on Instagram because that is mainly what I use. And it also shows you the insights of those posts. If the post has the availability to be a boosted post, you can also boost that post from here. Now, a lot of my posts that I make on Instagram are either video or carousel posts, so it doesn't allow me to run a ad for that type of post. If you keep scrolling down in this section, this is where you will find information about any recent ad that you have created. So you are able to see the insights and the information about that ad. So going back over here to the furthest right hand side, the next section is insights and it gives you a glimpse of your insights for your Facebook and Instagram pages. It gives you your trends and your audience information. If you want to see more insight information, all you have to do is click on the button that says see all insights. 
if you keep going down the next section on the right hand side is post activity again this is showing you your post information so this is showing me my latest post and it's showing me some insights and if you have anything that's scheduled or if you have any drafts so you will be able to see like a glimpse of your post this next section I really like is what's new in Facebook business suite so it gives you updates and news alerts and whenever they update information or add a new feature to Facebook business suite you'll be able to see that in this section okay next I'm going to just quickly go over these options here because a lot of this information that's here is repeated from what I showed you already on this dashboard on the home page dashboard the first button is the activity button and this actually just shows you all of the activity on your recent posts like who liked your post which post they like that type of information the next button is your inbox so now from the inbox button you're able to see your Facebook messages and your Instagram direct messages all from one section if you just want to select a certain one so if you only want to look at Facebook you can select messenger if you only want to see Instagram you will see Instagram direct you can also look at your Facebook comments your Instagram comments and if you have any chat plugins to your website you will see that information here as well so if you have the Facebook chat messenger plugged into your website you'll be able to see that information here so other cool options with the inbox feature is that you can set your availability times and you can also set up any automated responses when someone sends you a message in either your Facebook Messenger or your Instagram direct messenger. The next button option is the post option. So, so this and this is the same. So that's why I said these options are duplicate so if I click here it's going to take me to the same information so from here we're going to click post and stories and the great thing that I like about Facebook business suite is that you can actually come in and schedule out your content to both your Facebook page and your Instagram business page you can also schedule out your stories the next option is the feed grid view so you are able to see what has posted on your Facebook page and what you've posted on your Instagram page, like a side-by-side -side view. If you have any photos, you can look at all your Facebook photos that you've uploaded. Now let's go back to the post option. From the post section, you're able to also see any published posts, your scheduled posts, your drafts, and you also have the option to customize what you see here. So if you want to change your view, you have that option. So let's go ahead and just select create a post so I can show you guys how to do that. Once you click on create a post, you have the option to choose which platform that you want your post to post to. So you can either select your Facebook page or your Instagram page or both by simply just putting or removing the check marks to which platform you want it to go to. Next, you will add in your caption information, whatever your captions are. Next, you will add your media. You can add photos, video, or you can create a photo. Next, depending on the type of post that you are posting, you can also enter in your location. In this next column, we can customize our posts. So for Facebook, if we did not have this picture posted, we can have the option to add a call to action. If you are doing a text-only post, you'll be able to use the link preview option only for Facebook because Instagram does not allow you to put links in the caption. And then the Instagram option, there's no other option to customize it. The last column, once you select Facebook or Instagram, it's just showing you a preview of how the post will look. So if you're ready to publish this post, you can simply hit publish but if you're not ready to publish this post, then you can click the arrow button. You can either schedule it or save it as a draft. I'm going to select schedule. And you can simply select your date and time to schedule your post.
So I'm going to just leave that there. Hit save. Hit schedule post. And it's scheduling the post. Now if we go back over here to the left hand column and select calendar. We're able to see what has already been posted and also anything that we have scheduled for that date. Another great option from the calendar view, you can go ahead and create a new post or a new story directly from the calendar. So as I stated before, a lot of these options just brings you back to do the same thing. It just makes it easier for you to find on how to do things in Facebook Business Suite. Okay, let's move along to the next option or button, which is ads. And this is just gonna bring you to your ads manager. So if you had any ads, you could come here and you will see your insights from your ads and you are also able to create a new ad. Next option is insights. So previously the home page just gave us a glimpse of the insights. Once you click on insights, it gives you an overview of all of your insights. If you wanted to view this section by section, then you would just simply click on each section and it will give you that information. So if you wanted to review your content, you see instant insights on your content. If you want to see your audience information, you can see your audience information. The next option is more tools. And this is actually exactly what it says more to so you can access ad manager all of your ads if you want to create an appointment you can set that up you can look at your audience and create audience and building more business apps so there's a lot that you can do with your Facebook business suite next is the settings so if you needed to change your settings information this is where you would do that if you wanted to add people to give them access to your Facebook business suite, you can do that in the settings. Again, Facebook business suite is a great tool to help you as an entrepreneur or business owner to save you time by allowing you to manage both your Facebook business page and Instagram platform all from one location. Okay, boss friends, so that is how you use Facebook Business Suite to manage your Facebook business page and Instagram business page. Let me know down in the comments if you ever heard of Facebook Business Suite and also if you're currently using it for your business. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comment as well. And don't forget to like this video so I know to create more tutorials like this for you. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next tutorial.